Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos like this one. Did you know that whales have regional accents, just like humans? Yes, you heard that right. These marine giants, known for their majestic presence and breathtaking songs, are also linguists of the deep blue. Much like how a person from New York might sound different from someone in Texas, whales too exhibit distinct dialects based on their geographical location. It's a fascinating facet of their behavior that's been studied extensively by marine biologists, including those from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Whale communication is no mere collection of random sounds. It's a complex system, a symphony of clicks, whistles and pulses that echo through the ocean depths. These sounds, or songs, are unique to each species, and even vary within the species based on their location. A humpback whale in the Pacific, for instance, sings a different tune from its counterpart in the Atlantic. This variety in song patterns is what we refer to as the regional of whales. But why does this variation exist? Well, scientists speculate that these accents could serve as identity markers, helping whales distinguish friend from foe. The unique song of each group might also aid in attracting mates, or even in navigation across the vast, unending ocean. Moreover, these songs aren't static. They evolve over time, influenced by various factors like changes in environment, migration patterns, and interactions with other groups. This continuous evolution of whale communication is a testament to their adaptability and intelligence. In fact, studying these changes in songs can also provide researchers with valuable insights into the health of our ocean ecosystems. A shift in song patterns might indicate changes in whale populations, migration routes, or even the presence of human-made disturbances like ship noise, so, the next time you hear a whale song, remember, it's not just noise, it's a conversation. It's a deep-sea dialogue that's been going on for millions of years, a testament to the intelligence and adaptability of these magnificent creatures. A captivating conversation we're only just beginning to understand. Beneath your feet, there's a chance an entire city is thriving. Yes, you heard that right. Our journey today takes us into the hidden depths of the Earth where we'll explore the incredible underground cities of Cappadocia in Turkey and the Wielitzka salt mine in Poland. Let's start with Cappadocia. Carved into the soft volcanic rock of central Turkey, this subterranean marvel has been a testament to human resilience and ingenuity for over a millennium. These cities, according to UNESCO, were built as early as the 7th century, providing refuge for the inhabitants during invasions, the labyrinth of tunnels and rooms include everything from homes and churches to stables and wineries, a testament to a completely self-sustained underground life. Moving across continents, we arrive at the Wielitzka salt mine in Poland. This is a place where the common and humble salt has been transformed into something truly extraordinary. Dating back to the 13th century, the mine was in operation for over seven centuries, producing table salt all the way up until 2007. But the miners did more than just extract salt. They carved out a subterranean city, complete with chapels, statues and even chandeliers, all made from the very salt they mined. Today, the Wielitzka salt mine is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting tourists from around the globe. As for Cappadocia, it's not just a historical site. People still live in the rock formations, and the underground cities are used for storage and stables. National Geographic describes the region as a geological oddity of honeycombed hills and towering boulders of otherworldly beauty. So, next time you're walking around, remember, you might be treading on more than just the Earth's crust. These underground cities remind us that the surface is just the beginning. The Bermuda Triangle, it's not on any official map, yet it's one of the most feared regions in the world. This region, roughly shaped like a triangle, is bounded by Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, covering about 500,000 square miles of the Atlantic Ocean. It's a bustling route for ships and aircraft, yet it's also a place steeped in mystery and intrigue. Over the centuries, a significant number of ships and planes have vanished without a trace within this area. One of the most famous disappearances is that of Flight 19, 
a group of five U.S. Navy torpedo bombers that vanished during a training flight in 1945. Despite extensive searches, no wreckage or bodies were ever found. Then there's the case of the USS Cyclops, a massive Navy cargo ship with over 300 men on board, that disappeared without a trace in 1918. Again, no wreckage was found. Theories about these disappearances range far and wide. Some propose magnetic anomalies that interfere with compass readings. Others suggest powerful underwater currents or methane gas eruptions that could sink a ship. And yes, there are those who believe in extraterrestrial involvement. The US Coast Guard, however, maintains a more pragmatic view. They argue that the Bermuda Triangle is one of the most heavily traveled regions in the world. And therefore, it's only natural that it would have a higher number of incidents. Weather conditions in this region can change rapidly, and the Gulf Stream can be extremely swift and turbulent. National Geographic supports this view, stating that there is no scientific evidence to support the Triangle as a region of specific danger. They suggest that many disappearances can be attributed to human error, equipment failure, or natural disasters. Despite these explanations, the Bermuda Triangle continues to be a source of fascination and fear. Its stories have permeated popular culture, inspiring books, movies, and countless theories. While the Bermuda Triangle remains a mystery, it continues to capture our imagination. The allure of the unknown is powerful, and as long as ships and planes continue to traverse its waters and airspace, the Bermuda Triangle will remain one of the world's most enduring enigmas. Imagine walking in a forest that's been around for 180 million years. Let's take a journey into the Daintree Rainforest in Australia, a place that has withstood the test of time. Tucked away in the northeastern corner of the continent, this ancient woodland is the oldest continuously surviving tropical rainforest in the world. The Daintree is not just ancient, it's also incredibly diverse. It is home to an astonishing array of life, with nearly 90% of butterfly and bat species in Australia calling it home. It's a veritable Noah's Ark of species that have disappeared elsewhere, a treasure trove of biodiversity. The forest canopy buzzes with life, from the vibrant Ulysses butterfly to the elusive Bennett's tree kangaroo, many of which are found nowhere else on Earth. But it's not just the wildlife that makes the Daintree special. The forest is also deeply significant to the local indigenous people, the Kuku Yalanji. To them, the forest is a living entity, a source of food, medicine and spirituality. Their deep connection and understanding of the forest have sustained them for thousands of years, long before the arrival of European settlers. The Daintree's age and biodiversity have earned it a place on the UNESCO World Heritage List. UNESCO describes it as an irreplaceable source of life and inspiration, and it truly is. Despite facing threats from climate change and human activity, the Daintree continues to thrive, a testament to nature's resilience. Yet the Daintree is more than just a forest. It's a window into our planet's ancient past, a time capsule from an era when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. It's a living laboratory for scientists, studying the origins and evolution of life on our planet. The Daintree is a living testament to Earth's ancient past, a world teeming with life that has survived millions of years. As we walk through its dense green canopy and breathe in the humid, earthy air, we are reminded of the intricate web of life that connects us all, and the importance of preserving these ancient landscapes for future generations. The ocean is full of surprises, some of which defy logic. Dive with me into the depths of the sea, where we encounter the Milky Sea effect, a phenomenon that transforms the dark ocean into a vast, glowing expanse. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has recorded only about 200 such events in over a century. This mesmerizing light show is caused by bioluminescent bacteria, which can make an area as large as Connecticut appear to glow at night. Now, imagine stumbling upon intricate geometric patterns on the sea floor. You'd be forgiven for thinking these underwater crop circles are the work of extraterrestrial artists. But the real creators are small pufferfish, who craft these masterpieces to attract mates, as per the Journal of Marine Science. These unseen ocean phenomena remind us how much we still have to discover in our own planet's depths.
In the vastness of space, there's something pulling us towards it, and we don't know what it is. This mystery, dear listeners, is known as the Great Attractor. Discovered in the late 20th century by astronomers, this gravitational anomaly is situated in the Zone of Avoidance, a region of space heavily obscured by the Milky Way. The Great Attractor is pulling galaxies, ours included, towards it at an astonishing speed of about 14 million miles per hour. But what is it? Well, that's the enigma. We can't see it due to the dense dust and stars of our galaxy blocking the view. NASA and other space agencies are working tirelessly to solve this puzzle, using advanced technologies such as X-ray and infrared telescopes. The answers could revolutionize our understanding of the cosmos, possibly hinting at dark matter or energy fields we've yet to discover. In the grand scheme of things, we're just a tiny part of the universe, drawn towards the unknown by the Great Attractor. From the mysteries of the Great Attractor, we now venture into another unsolved puzzle of the universe, dark matter. Compelling evidence from the cosmos suggests the existence of a substance we can't see, touch or detect directly. Yet, it is believed to make up about 85% of the matter in the universe. This, dear viewers, is the enigma of dark matter. Scientists first inferred its existence by observing the gravitational effects on visible matter, such as the rotation of galaxies. The stars at the edges of galaxies were observed to move at speeds that should fling them into the cosmos, but they remain bound. The unseen glue holding them together is what we call dark matter. Dark matter doesn't emit, absorb or reflect light, making it incredibly hard to detect. However, its gravitational effects are profound, shaping the universe as we know it. From the formation of galaxies to the paths they trace in the cosmos, dark matter guides the cosmic dance. The search for dark matter is a thrilling chase, a cosmic detective story that could redefine our understanding of the universe. It's a tale of unseen forces, cosmic scales, and cutting-edge science. As we delve deeper into the mystery, we might just find answers that will change our perception of reality. As we conclude this journey, remember that the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. We hope you enjoyed this journey into Earth's mysteries, don't forget to subscribe for more amazing content. Until next time, keep exploring.